Hello, my name is Alex Smith. I'm in grade 11, and this is my submission for the 2023 MIT Hacking Challenge. My design depicts the legend of is my hack. My hack is a Lego automata using the EV3 Mindstorm system, depicting the legend of Sisyphus. This hack takes use of Lego's motor systems in the EV3 Mindstorm's greater system and gears used to be able to move the legs back and forth. From here, a beam that can freely spin is connected on an offset to the gear, and then later up, on up it is connected to another beam creating a lever. This is what allows the legs to move in a human motion. This is able to better depict the human stride. Aside from that, I have another offset beam spinning going up and down, again on a lever, to mimic the body and its motion up and down when a human is pushing something. Why did I build this out of Lego and cardboard? Well, to begin with, I have prior experience with the Lego Mindstorm systems and already had a general idea of how to build them from when I was a kid. I tasked myself with including common household objects such as paper towel rolls in order to fit my design. I wanted a more human cylindrical structure that would be lightweight enough to be able to be pushed around by Lego motors. I chose Lego to build the main robotics of this system due to its modularity and ease of use. In multiple cases, I had issues where gears were popping off and the axles themselves were bending and breaking. Because of that, I had to include two motors, one down here and one up here, both spinning the same axle. But the beauty is that Lego, since it is all designed to come apart in the end, it never broke and I could always just keep on building from where I had left off, even when I ran into issues. The first stage of building was figuring out the walking cycle. I originally developed many prototypes on what type of movement would work best or how I could make this leg-like movement. I could not find a clear answer on my own and took to research where I found many examples of a beam connected offset to a gear moving up and down along a fixed or not a fixed along a moving lever point. This forms a triangle between the origin of the lever, the origin of the beam, and the axle itself, which will grow larger and smaller, mimicking the first stage in building this was figuring out how to cycle the legs. I originally tried many different things, such as moving gears in a back and forth motion 